Oh, hi everyone. You caught me cooking, because I'm hungry and I'm going to be eating soon. Hey, what are you cooking? I'm so glad you asked. I'm cooking beans. Uh, it's my second time actually making beans for myself, and I think they're going to be delicious. And funny, we're talking about beans because beans are food. And guess what my uh, topic is today? My topic is food, specifically uh, plants. They're all like plants are like food for a lot of people, so we're gonna talk about plants, and it's gonna be great. Um, I got this idea. Well, okay, I'm gonna read it then explain afterwards. So, without any further ado, excuse me. Plants and people, by Cameron Kirk Chapin. That's me. All right, here we go. When I think about it, plants have been on Earth longer than people. Assuming this world was created by the being I claim as my god and creator, part of me wonders why he created plants before people, because you know we were made in his image, we're supposed to be like the most important thing in this world. The logical part of me says that God, being a most logical god, knew that people needed to eat, so to put people on an earth with no food would be most illogical and cruel. For many people, food is an easy, basic way to serve others and also show love to other people. I wonder if this most lo lo in the ew, wow, if this most loving trait displayed by people isn't in some part a stamp of the most high God in his children, his most precious prized creation. In fact, People seem to be quite impressed most of the time when other people can take fairly simple foods and make incredible, delicious food from it. I, for one, am always amazed when someone can lay their hands on the same foods that I do and make something with a creative twist that I could never envision. I also greatly enjoy when I can take food from a basket, table, or pile, like a pile of apples, uh, create a dish and plate it or put it on a platter only to have it disappear in moments Okay, it's more like minutes, but you know gotta talk myself up every once in a while <laughs> the power of food To show love and care may be one of the best powers in this earth besides that of our Lord Let us cultivate and enjoy this power this labor of love gifted to us from above Thank you for listening. Now, isn't that a cool bit of art? I got this from a friend here in Korea, and um, it's pretty cool. It's Kiss, made by the Sterichische. Maybe that's a German name. I can't read German. But the name is Gallery Belvedere. Oh, Vienna, Austria? What language do they speak in Austria? Is it Austrian? No, no, no. I know this. It's English, obviously. Have you seen The Sound of Music? They speak English in The Sound of Music. Ha 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 ha. Oh wait, there were other... Some people in there. Maybe they speak German too. Anyway, this uh, plant writing came about because a friend and I were doing like a bit of a writing night together and we were like just kind of talking, oh, like what kind of prompts do we want? Uh, and we were... This was our second one and our idea was plants. So I kind of went on from there, and it was just a free write, so thank you very much for enjoying my free write on plants. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and share if you want to, and uh, if you want to write me a little comment in the commentary box, I will do my best to respond and get back to you ASAP. Thank you so much for watching my time. Wow. For watching my video, thank you for your time. Uh, God bless you and love you, and we'll see you more next time. All right. Love you. Bye.